guys, it's LPH Jazzy Beats here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to continue on with my mini crafts se se series. I can't speak to you. Oh my god. So this is going to be the last episode. So this episode is going to be focusing on the outside and the entrance bit. Make sure to watch the other episodes if you haven't already. So you can like craft with me, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini series. I forgot to say in like the other parts, but if you guys have done this craft, please, please, please. If you guys have any social media, send me the link, comment it down the link below, or tag me. I'd love to see what you guys did. Let's just jump on right into the video. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below if you guys like the series, I guess. Yeah, and if you subscribe, hit that button notification to get notified when I post videos. So yeah, let's get on with the video right now. Okay, so I kind of did a little more craft away from the video. So this is like a demonstration of what the front piece will be, and you can also take it off for easy access for filming. And yes, this is like removable, so like it's easier for you to open the door and stuff. So yeah, you might have to like sticky tack in or like use blue tack to stick it in. And then over here, I built this little box thing to put like the bread in for sale to show like it's for sale and then people can go in and like all the stuff. How I made it is basically the same thing of how I made this screen thing, that screen here, but just make it so it's up here and this size didn't make six sides, it just made five, and then it looks something like this. Before I start, I'm going to go back to the crafts that we made we made these two oh you can't even see that oh my god we made these two little cut things so one of them has broke a little bit so i'm gonna stick that back on later so now i'm gonna go get my paint so the paint i'll be using is this like burnt sienna i think it's called um this is basically a brown so these cups are going to be you can either leave it clear to be like water or you can color it in to be like coffee or tea or something like that which is what i'm gonna do you're going to need this and then i'm going to put a little bit of white in it as well you don't need too much just a little droplet will be good and yeah I also might use a little bit of this yellow or chair color as well. Ooh, there's a little paint on there. Just to like mix it up and give it that goldenish glow. I'm gonna add some water in it. I don't think you can even see it. But yeah, it's right there. Yeah, my paint pot's really messy. I like it like that though. I'm gonna add some water into that just to make it a bit more runnier to easier to paint. And then yeah, let's get started on the painting. I had to do voiceover for this one because you could not understand what I was saying. But basically, you're just gonna um paint that little top bit which i'm doing on the screen right now i'm not gonna paint anything else and since the glue dried clear then it just like reflects onto there now i just left it dry on my little stand right here so you guys might want to make this box thing to put outside i'm gonna make some more inside that one i'm gonna place these breadsticks that i made earlier i'm just gonna Pop them in there and I'm not gonna stick them down because they look okay like that. I might make a little bit more, I'm not sure. But if you guys want, just make some more and make it like fill up and then it looks nicer. So now I'm gonna make a little label at the front, it says like the price and stuff. So I cut a piece of paper around that size. I'm gonna use a black pen. If I use a marker, then it's not gonna sh like it's gonna be like really thick and you can't see it as much like what it says. So yeah, I'm gonna write bread. And then, yeah, the, the price, I guess. Now I'm using a marker. So here it is, just for, bread for sale, and then it's gonna be $10. So yeah, I'm gonna stick it on the thing right now with some glue. You couldn't hear me here, but I said you can use any glue, but I'm using a glue stick. I'm just gonna make a little, a smaller box just to put around here. And I'm gonna put the buns that we made. And this time I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. You need a small section. Okay, so I cut a little square like this and I made three of the same size. And then I also made one more that's the same size as this, but I just cut it in half. And now we're gonna glue them all together. So you're gonna get your base plate and I'm gonna put some glue at the side here and then stick this one on. And then to help it stick, I just use this glue like that to help it stick the knife. 
smooth it out like that. And then you do the same for the other sides. So it's just like something like this. I left one of the sides open because it's going to be stuck to the other bread box anyways. So there's not really a point sticking anything there. And now I'm just going to even out the sides. How you even out the sides is use one of the front pieces, the one that is the shortest and the desired length that you want to be at. And you just use it to cut like I did just now. And now I'm going to stick it to the other bread box but you know how I said that I didn't glue one of the sides down I'm going to glue that to the box instead because you want to make sure that it is not stuck down to the floor so you can easily remove that little doorway thing for easy filming access and so on and now I am going to stick another price tag thing on the box we just made. For this, I wrote fresh bread for sale and then I wrote that. Yeah, it's more expensive, even though it's smaller, it's just, yeah. And then I'm gonna place these two buns in it when it's dry, because it's not dry. Since I only have two, it it's like stuck inside and I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm gonna get my cardboard, cut this into little pieces and stack and glue them together. And then I'm gonna glue this inside. I forgot to mention, but basically what I'm doing here is elevating it so you can see the buns more. And and it looks more fuller, you know, because I don't have enough buns to put in the box. Sorry about the lighting, it is really bad. It's just later in the day, and because it's later in the day, it's getting dark. And so I had to turn on my light, and my light is really bad quality, so yeah. Your cups should be dry. This is what they should look like. Well, this is just one of them. And then I'm going to be placing the coffee cups around here. I'm not going to stick them down because, like, you can use it for sets and everything. So I'm just going to use sticky tack or blue tack to stick it down. I forgot to mention this in the video but the last video of the series we made those little ice cube things and we put them off to the side so if you want to make your drinks like a cold drink when you finish painting and you're gonna leave it to dry put it in the cup make sure not to paint over it so then it looks more like an ice cube we're officially done with the inside so now we're gonna work on the outside more i'm gonna go on my computer and search for a little brick walkway right here that i could stick down and print out so i'm using my froggy stuff printables because they are amazing honestly go check out our channel her crafts amazing honestly amazing so you're going to want to search in your web browser myfocussoft.blogstock.com can't speak and you arrive on this page i know they're dull sides but like we can always use them for lps too so that's i think we click this i'm not sure i haven't been to our website in such a long time so after you click the printables tab at the top you want to scroll down and it should say background nature windows and room stuff and you just want to look in there I haven't been to a website in a long time, so I'm not sure if this is the right one or not. That concrete floor is nice, but I feel like that's more horror movie. <laughs> I kind of like this brick road, to be honest. I'm going to use this brick one here, so I'm going to just, um, oh, you're supposed to click on it. And then I'm going to copy image, and then I'm going to put it into a Google Doc. So I've just opened up a Google Doc, and you're just going to, um, paste the image in it, and it should pop up like this. Adjust the size. If there is leftover, it's fine, honestly, because I'm going to use it for other crafts. I think that's good, and now I'm going to print it out. So I'm back, and here is it printed out. Sorry about the camera angle, I'm huffing and puffing because I ran up the stairs, I'm a kid, I'm sorry. So now I've cut the whole thing out, now I'm going to just wrap it along here and measure and cut like I did with the flooring over here. This is a little bit over there, that is fine, you just cut off and then use the remaining to cover that part. And then yeah, I'll be back when I've covered this whole pavement area here. Make sure to like match up these lines to these lines over here because you don't want it to be like a little bit off center, that'd be like really weird. I've finished putting it all over the floor here as you can see we just need a little open sign to put here so first we're going to get some of our masking tape you're going to peel around that much and then yeah you're just going to fold it into like a little strip like so do you see that line and you're just going to keep folding till you reach the end and then now i'm going to bend it like that so basically you get this and you're gonna meet at a point and you're gonna twist it like that make sure the ends match up and then you're gonna f f crease it and then yeah um now we're gonna get a little piece of cardboard okay so here it is i'm just gonna see if i like the size of that i'm just placing it on there yeah i like the size of that i'm gonna get a marker and we're gonna write open on it I wrote mine in capital letters. Now we're gonna cut another piece around the same size. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna write closed. 
I'm gonna get my PVA glue. We're gonna apply blue to the end of this masking tape. And then we're gonna stick the other one the same thing, but at the back. We can use blue tack to apply it. We're going to stick that blue tack on top. And there you go. That's how you make a little open sign. This is optional. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to make a rubbish bin. How you're going to do this is you're going to need some sort of cap. I'm using an empty glue cap. If you want your rubbish bin to be white or any color you can choose, you can choose any. You And it's not the cap color, you can paint it. I'm okay with white. I'm going to use parchment paper. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to cut a little square around that big. And then we're going to get our trash bin. Put our finger in the center of the square. And we're going to push down. Like so. Then it should all like crumple down. And you're going to grab the edges and just fold them over the edge. Like so. I'm just going to cut those squares and what i'm gonna do is crumple bits of paper and yeah you can put all sorts of trash bits in there you can even put like little food things and everything but i'm just gonna put paper for now you don't have to glue this down you can put it anywhere you like i'm just gonna put it right there right now i this is really optional but um i'm just sticking some of these like duck sign things i've got i remember i think i said something about it in like part two or something but I'm just sticking them on the outside because I had some left over. But yeah, it's like, she has like, this cafe, Betty's, is sponsored by this bee duck thing, but I'm not sure. But yeah. What's up, guys? You made it through. We're done now. Here's an overview of what the cafe looks like. So here's the front, and then you walk inside, and here's the inside. I really like how it turned out. It really um, appealed to my visual image in my mind. And what I wanted it to look like and I really like how everything turned out it's just what I wanted it to look like especially the bread considering it's my first time okay guys that is the end of this whole mini series whatever I hope you guys enjoyed this mini series and like this mini craft let me know if you guys have any questions and I can be sure to you know help you out so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe like and comment down below any questions you have like i said like to let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you subscribe hit that button notification to get notified and when i post videos love you guys so 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 much and see you in my next video